Good evening, everybody. Um, I think when it comes to success, CBD 16, um, for me, the, the, the fundamental thing is, is coming out with a recognition. My God, my God. Systems, biodiversity, and climate are, are, are inexorably linked. Um, I'll give two examples just as a forest country, Gabon. 88% covered in, in tropical rainforests. There's hordes of, of, of scientific literature now to show that, that um, biodiverse forests stop more carbon and biodiverse forests are more resilient to, to climate change, resisting insect attack, resisting fires and so on. Whether you're in Europe, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in South America. I've been muted, apparently. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Lee. Yeah, I think we're also hearing Galaxy A20. Uh, I don't know who Galaxy A20 is, but if, if they could mute as well, then that would stop any interruption. If everybody who's not uh, speaking can, can just mute themselves, that'd be great. Thank you. Sure. Second example is one I've, that traumatizes me. If, if we lose the forests of the Congo Basin through deforestation, um, we lose the incredible biodiversity of the Congo Basin. We also lose the ecosystem services that the Congo Basin provides. So we, we lose you know, our chance of, of, of a two degree world. If we lose Congo Basin and all that carbon goes into the atmosphere, we're heading for a three, four, five degree world. But we also lose the rainfall in the Ethiopian highlands and the rainfall in the Sahel, which is generated by the Congo Basin forests. So we lose the Blue Nile, and then we lose agriculture in Egypt. And so there's, there are these incredible links between biodiversity, biodiversity preservation, um, forests, ecosystem services, um, which, which, which bring the whole of the African continent together and if we, if we disrupt them, are going to create hundreds of millions of climate refugees. Not millions, not tens of millions, but hundreds of millions. We're going to see the entire African continent destabilized if, if, if we lose these ecosystems. Um, um, and that's very much a biodiversity issue, and it's very much a climate change issue. So, so we need to see a real commitment to, to recognizing natural capital in our economies. We need a, a sort of a COVID sized response to the, to the, um, the extinction crisis that we're going through and to the, and to the climate change crisis. Uh, and we have to, between COP16 and, and COP26, between the biodiversity and the climate COPs, we really have to, to, to raise our ambitions. We have to push for, for, for 30, 30, 30% of the land and 30% of the ocean protected by, 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 by 2030. And, and, and we, we really have to have much greater global emission, both for climate and for biodiversity. Thank you.